In this video, I'm going to work out two examples of solving rational equations. I'm only going to do two examples because they are kind of long, and when you get done, you should put your answer back in and check, which that takes a little bit of extra time as well. All right, so in this first example, we're going to solve for x here. We've got x plus 4 over 2x plus x plus 20 over 3x is equal to 3. All right, now before I even start the problem, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to look at my denominators, and I'm going to figure out what my restrictions are. All right, in this scenario right here, x cannot be 0. If x is 0, then 0 times 3 would make that whole denominator 0, and we cannot divide by 0. All right, same thing over here. If x was 0, 0 times 2 is 0. That would make that denominator 0. We can't have that. So I'm going to, before we even start, I'm going to write down what my restrictions are. So my restrictions on this here um, is going to be x cannot be 0. And then the other thing I'm going to do is because it does have fractions or rational expressions, I don't want to solve an equation that has uh, fractions in them. So I'm going to come up with the least common denominator. I'm going to multiply through by that to get rid of the fractions. So I'm going to take a look at 2x. I'm going to take a look at 3x. I'm going to uh, figure out what the least common denominator is going to be, and that's going to be a 6x. So my least common denominator is going to be a 6x. All right, so I'm going to multiply through by that least common denominator, and that's going to eliminate all of my fractions. Now, I do think I am going to do it here on this first line so that I don't have to rewrite the problem. All right, and what I usually do is I only write my least common denominator one time, 6x. I even kind of put it in the top so that I realize that it's over 1. It is in the top, and then I distribute it to each term on the inside. All right, it just makes it, the problem less cluttered. A lot of people will write 6x next to each one of those terms, All right, but it just it clutters up the problem. Okay, now from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a 6x in the top and a 2x in the bottom. All right, well, when I divide that, 6x divided by 2x, that's going to give me a 3 times whatever is in that numerator. Okay, so then I'm going to have a 3 times the numerator x plus 4. All right, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take 6x and divide by 3x. All right, 6x divided by 3x is 2 times whatever's in the numerator. So 2 times what's in the numerator. All right, this is not a fraction, and this is not a fraction, so all I have to do is straight multiply here. 6x times 3 is going to give me an 18x. If you multiply through by the least common denominator and you do it correctly, you should eliminate all of your fractions. And then at this point, it just becomes um, pretty straightforward. Distributive property, combine like terms, solve for x. All right, so we'll distribute right here, and we'll have a 3x plus a 12. We'll distribute here, and we'll have a 2x plus a 40. And then we'll have an equals 18x. All right, I need to move... Um, Combine some like terms and rearrange them. So let's combine like terms on the left first. So 3x and 2x is going to give me a 5x. 12 and 40 is going to give me a 52 is equal to 18x. I think it's going to be easier here if I subtract 5x from both sides. So I'm going to have a 52 is equal to a 13x. Divide both sides by 13. So then x equals 4. All right, now every time because this is a rational expression it does not um does not meet my restriction here because i didn't come up with an x equals zero so we're good there however you still do need to plug this back into the original equation and check all right to see that it makes a true equation so let's do our check right here and i'm actually going to write it out um x is four so i'm going to ask myself is four plus four all over two times four is going to give me an eight there plus 4 plus 20, all over 4 times the 3 there is going to give me a 12. All right, does that equal, question mark, does that equal 3? All right, well, working here, this is going to give me 8 over 8 or 1. This is going to give me 24 over 12, which is going to be 2. 1 plus 2 does equal 3, so it does check this is an answer. Okay, if you get an answer, you plug it back in and your check does not work, all right, then you then it's a would be a no solution. 
All right, so that's first example, pretty straightforward. Let's do one more example. Okay, on this one, we're going to take a look at um, an x over x minus 3 is equal to 3 over x minus 3 plus 9. All right, again, I'm going to look at my restrictions. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at these denominators. And I'm going to ask myself, okay, well, what would x be? What could x be in order to get a 0 in that denominator? Well, if I set this equal to 0, x would equal 3. All right, so if x is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0, 3 minus 3 is 0, that's going to put a 0 on that denominator, and I cannot have it. So my restriction has to be that x cannot equal 3. All right, then I'm going to go through, and I'm going to find my least common denominator. It's just going to be an x minus 3. That's what I'm going to choose to multiply through in order to get rid of my fractions. All right, so again, I'm only going to write it down one time. I am going to kind of write it up at the top, x minus 3, because it is over 1. And then I'm going to distribute it to all three terms. All right. When I do that, it's going to eliminate my fractions. All right, so x minus 3 divided by an x minus 3 is going to give me a 1 times the x in top, which is just going to give me an x. Again, x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is going to give me a 1 times what's in top. It's going to stay a 3. All right, and then on this one is not a fraction, so I just need to multiply these two things. I need to remember that x minus 3 is a binomial. So then I'm going to have 9 times the binomial of x minus 3. All right, after that first step of multiplying through by the least common denominator, all your fractions are gone, so you can simplify here. I'll have an x equals 3 plus, distributing the 9 here, 9x minus 27. Let's combine some like terms here. I'll have x is equal to 9x minus 24. Um, let's go ahead and move the 9x over to the left side, which will give me a negative 8x is equal to a negative 24, which gets me x equal to 3. All right, however, going back and up and looking at my restrictions, I said that x could not be 3. If x is 3, it's going to put a 0 in those denominators. Okay, so in this scenario, I don't even have to do a check. This violates my original restriction. All right, so therefore, this one has to be a no solution, which you could write out the words like that, or you could use set notation with a no solution. All right, so two examples of solving rational equations. All right, you're going to always need to look for your restrictions, come up with at least common denominator so that you can eliminate your fractions, and then be sure and check your answer in that original equation. Definitely, if you're enjoying the videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Thanks.